House Oakheart are a powerful old family from Old Oak in the Reach, and one of the largest houses sworn to House Tyrell of Highgarden. They are also counted among the noble houses of the Reach, as they can trace their descent from Garth Greenhand. The coat of arms are three gold oak leaves on a gold background. According to some sources, their motto is, Our roots go deep. Like many of the old houses of the Reach, House Oakheart are of first men origin and can claim descent from John the Oak a legendary son of Garth Greenhand, sired on a giantess. As a result, John was a huge man, said to be 8 feet tall, and in some tales, even 10 or 12 feet. John the Oak was also credited as being the person to bring the concept of chivalry to the Reach, and as a result, the whole of Westeros. Like most of Garth Greenhand's offspring, John the Oak would have several children, whom his descendants eventually became House Oakheart. At some point in their history, during the period of the Hundred Kingdoms, House Hokart were petty kings with a small kingdom themselves. The petty kings of Old Oak eventually, like most petty kings in the Reach, joined the realm with the Gardner kings, specifically King Garth III Gardner, King of the Reach, through a pact of friendship and mutual defence. This is speculated to be as a result of regular attacks in their lands by House Lannister, who were at the time Kings of the Rock. Lancelot I Lannister, King of the Rock, once conquered the kingdom of the Reach as far south as Old Oak, before he fell in battle with the backing of Highgarden, defending the Reach would be much more effective, and Old Oak much more secure than before. During Aegon's conquest of Westeros, Lord Oakheart led King Mern the Ninth Gardener's left flank at the Field of Fire, where all the male gardeners burned and their line ended. As a result, House Tyrell became Aegon's new Wardens of the South and Lords of Highgarden, and thus House Oakheart's new Liege Lords. This was a controversial choice in the Reach for a lot of the older houses, the Oakhearts boasting an older and more distinguished lineage than the Tyrells, as well as a closer blood tie to House Gardener, something that House Tyrell lacked entirely. While they were very unhappy about having to pledge loyalty to the Tyrells, they rightly understood that they could not defy Aegon's choice given his power and his three dragons. Over time, as tempers cooled, House Oakheart became big supporters of their new king. The Oakhearts had the honour of hosting Aegon the Conqueror and his court many times at Old Oak, drawing the numerous rural progresses across his realm, something not many houses could boast. In 12 AC, during the First Dornish War, Sir John Catherine was to marry Alice Oakheart, daughter of the Lord of Old Oak. At the wedding, the notorious Will of Will led attackers that slew Lord Oakheart and most of the guests at the wedding. This caused much outrage across the Reach, especially as Lady Alice and her handmaidens were carried off and sold to merish slavers. The actions of Will of Will are still infamous at Old Oak, and thus House Oakheart holds a deep mistrust and dislike of the Dornish, even into the Baratheon era of Westeros. When Nymor Mytel, Prince of Dawn sent his daughter, Daria, as an envoy to King's Landing in 13 AC. King Aegon rejected Lord Oakheart's suggestion to send her to the meanest brothels of King's Landing. During the reign of King Maegor Targaryen, Lord Torgon Oakheart was amongst the Reach Lords to support Septon Moon in the Faith Militant Uprising. When Maegor died in 48 AC, Septon Moon was camped outside the walls of Old Town, and Lord Oakheart, among many other lords that had joined him. Lord Donald Hightower was reluctant to offer battle to the lords protecting Septon Moon, while Torgon Oakheart was likewise reluctant to commit the host to assaulting Old Town in a hopeless attack that would likely see huge losses. When Moon was assassinated, Lord Torgon decamped the next day. Lord Torgon later attended the wedding of Rogar Brathian and Alyssa Valarian, where he had met King Jaehaerys I, pronouncing him grim. Later in 58 AC, Sir Ryan Redwine unhorsed Sir Arthur Oakheart at a tourney in King's Landing, with Lord Torgon attending the grand feast that followed. In 73 AC, a Lord Oakheart held a tourney to celebrate the birth of a son. During this tourney, Prince Balon Targaryen, one of the sons, King Jaehaerys, unhorsed Sir Denis, heir to Old Oak, with the prince only being 16 years of age at the time, being knighted for his valour during the tourney. When Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen toured the south in 112 AC, the son of Lord Oakheart unsuccessfully attempted to court the princess. Later, when the Dance of the Dragons broke out, House Oakheart would side with Princess Rhaenyra and the Blacks, despite the earlier rejection. However, Prince Daron the Daring and Lord Ormond Hightower forced the submission of House Oakheart at Old Oak, as no one dared face the prince's dragon to Sarian. In the later area of Targaryen Westeros, Sir Oliver the Green Oak served in the Kingsguard of the young dragon, King Daron I Targaryen, during his conquest of Dawn. Sir Oliver died alongside his king at the hand of the Dornish assassins in 161 AC. 
having been treacherously ambushed under a peace banner. During the first Blackfire Rebellion, in 196 AC, House Oakheart tried to keep one foot in each camp during the fighting, choosing no side, much to the dislike of supporters of both the Targaryen Loyalists and the Blackfires. By the time of the Baratheon era of Westeros, in 290 AC, Sir Aerys Oakheart serves the Iron Throne as Kingsguard for Robert Baratheon. After Robert's death, Aerys continued to serve his son, King Joffrey, during the outbreak of the War of the Five Kings. Aerys's mother, Lady Arwen, followed Lord Mace Tyrell in raising their banner for Renly Baratheon and was an active part of his war councils. However, Sir Aerys Oakheart remained loyal to the crown during this time. It is noted that Sir Aerys objected to when King Joffrey ordered him to hit Sansa Stark in front of the whole court. Although he eventually does strike Sansa Stark, it was noted that Aerys did not hit the girl hard and shortly after this incident is sent to Dawn with Princess Marcella Baratheon as her sworn shield. After the death of Renly Baratheon, the Oharks follow the Tyrells in their alliance with House Lannister and House Baratheon of King's Landing. After the Battle of the Blackwater, Lady Oakheart is rewarded with some lesser tracts of land, though she is not present at King's Landing during this time. While in Dawn protecting the Princess Marcella, Sir Eris is seduced by Princess Ariane Martell and conspires with her to crown Princess Marcella as Queen. He is later killed by Aero Hota when discovered at Greenblood, preferring death to the disgrace of forsaking his Kingsguard vows. <laughs>